hi friends this is part 9 of stock management software um, in this video we'll learn how to create stock report and uh, how to send parameter for crystal report file okay let's start first we will create stock report form it will looks like this um, in that stock report form we have from date under two date under one more button show report then we have crystal report viewer first we will create this stock report form then we will design this crystal report file okay first here report form right click select windows form here name the stock report file uh, form name will be stock report click add here we need to add two date picker and one button here i added two label from under two to date picker date picker one and date picker two i add one button i name this button as show report then uh, we have crystal report viewer if you don't want this group tree click here then select none okay now we want to call this form from stock main form here in report menu click double click this stock list copying this code and pasting here here change the form name product report to stock report the copy this form name and pasting here okay save this and run the application click login then report stock list okay here we have stock report form okay now we have to design this stock report file using crystal report for that in reports folder right click add new item here select reporting then crystal reports crystal report name will be stock click add here select as a blank report click ok here right click uh, design page setup here we are changing the page options letters to a4 then click ok um, see here here we have the product report uh, sorry stock report header name then printer date then here we are displaying the stock report from date and to date then in table we are displaying serial number product code product name and then quantity okay here first we will add header insert text object stock report right click this format object here you can change the font style font size like that style will be bold click ok Okay. here we want to display the printer date for that right click insert here select a special field under this we have print date okay change this format object here we have a number of um, format options i select this one and go to customize here i want to display first day month and then year click ok Here we have to display the text as printer date. Okay, for that, insert text object inside this printer date. Adjust this. then here we are displaying from date under to date it should be a parameter okay here we have parameter fields right click new here i am adding from date it type will be date click ok then we need one more parameter to date 
type will be date click ok here I want to display a text stock report from right click edit text object then we should display the to date instead of this only two okay then add this parameter here just drag it then to date Here select both the dates, right click format multiple objects, here go to date, select date format, then customize day, month, year, click OK. okay. Then now we want to display the table letter, serial name, product code, product name, quantity. Okay, for that copy this text object under pasting here, here change the text serial number then will be product code expand this one then copying this one and pasting here then change product code to name then we need one more text object this will be quantity okay just uh, select all and change font style format multiple objects here font select bold font size will be 11 click ok this text also format multiple object font here yeah, change this to bold click ok then um, here we want to display the stock list from stock table okay for that database egg field right click database expert already we have connection project data inside this uh, expand this ado.net data sets here we have table stock click this button okay click ok then inside this stock table we have product code name product name transaction date quantity product status um, inside this check uh, detail section we have to drag this um, database field serial number that's not in stock table so right click insert special field here we have record number okay um, we don't need this field adding just delete it okay record number by default it's in right format change this to left alignment here go to common tab here horizontal alignment uh, is by default it's in default change this to left then number will be positive number select this one click ok then product code just drag this here delete this field adding ok then expand this one um, by default it's in right alignment change this to left and number will be positive click ok then product name drag this then quantity quantity also in right alignment change this to center it's a uh, decimal number here centered click ok 
okay now we have to um, add this lines like table okay for that uh, we have toolbox here select line object draw a line here now this uh, designing part is completed now right click here in section 1 report header select fit section here also ok it should be center ok save this now go back to this stock report form here in button click event we have to write code for to load the stock list in that crystal report viewer okay for that first we will add a report document here add this namespace here right click a view designer here double click this show report button inside this I'm adding this code here add namespace for this SQL connection in the first line uh, we are loading the report file from this stock master F folder inside that we have stock master folder inside that we have stock master inside we have stock folder inside that stock inside reports folder we have stock dot report file see here here we have stock report stock dot report file then we have sql connection a uh, connecting database then opening the sql connection here here we are using data set uh, in our previous video we used a data table okay here uh, i will explain how to use data set okay then uh, here we are uh, uh, fetching data from stock details based on this condition where cost trans date as that date between date picker date time picker one dot value dot two string here we are passing the format first month then date and then year and the date picker two dot value okay next we are filling that um, fetch the data details into this dst object of data set uh, what's the difference between data set and uh, data table using crystal report means in data table we don't have mentioning this table name but in data set we have to mention the table name because our data set is a collection of data tables okay then we are um, assigning that uh, dst to set data so source then we have parameter set parameter value from date here from date is these two dates uh, this one is from date and this is to date then report source will be this script before that we have to change this format date time picker format select both the dates and go to properties here we have format by default it it's in long change this to custom here we want to change custom format first we want to display day and then month and then year okay save this and run the application click login go to report menu then select stock list okay then select data from june 1 to till date click show report here we have the report stock report from from date which we selected in this date picker one then to date it's in this second date picker then we have printer date is current date today date then we have product list product code and product name and the quantity is displaying um, okay guys if you found this video is helpful to you um, don't forget to subscribe this channel and uh, see you there in next video bye